It's an era of cultural handshakes. It's a time to use soft power to spread a message of cultural similarities. After the success of the Bollywood film Dangal, highlighting the traditional Indian sport of wrestling, more collaborations are in the making. Chinese audiences found a natural connect to the story of the film in which boys are preferred over girls. They understood why women were barred from this masculine sport. What the film did best was to promote the game among women across the world. Earlier, no one talked about the sport among women, and now everyone wants their daughters to play this game, as was shown in the film. The film attracted many eyeballs in China, so much so that it collected about $147 million there. For the first time, a Bollywood film's box office collection in China beat the Indian market. This soft power push actually shows that there is a lot more to bring India and China closer than to pull them apart. This is the first time that a film has done so well in China and I'm really not surprised actually because it's uh, the Chinese culture and the Indian culture in very many ways is so similar, particularly the family values and the whole adherence to uh, excellence and what a father can do or any parent can do to actually you know take their children forward the indian tiger will take on the chinese dragon collaborations away from the big screen fights to real bouts are also being explored to build the soft power the big match between china's zulpikar maimaiti ali and india's vijinder singh hit headlines and was hugely advertised I think sport is sport, politics is politics, and military is military. This is a professional fight between Vijender and me, and I don't think it should be taken in any other context. It helps us build bonds. For countries to have a greater influence globally, it is now necessary to grow beyond propaganda and create a forceful soft power without any government funding as Dangal did for India. Jackie Chan is so popular all over the world, he doesn't matter that he's belonging to one country. Uh, over the time, he belongs to the whole world and, and he entertains everyone. So I think that for creative people, there are no boundaries. And it is the creative people who try and bring cultures together, people together. The film was not intended to make any impact, but the benefit it brought to the sport and the women's cause across the world is phenomenal. It brought wrestling as a sport to the mainstream, especially in India, and globally it changed the image of India. The film Dangal has helped Chinese and other audiences understand India's culture and tradition closely. It is a perfect example of how soft power is used to change perceptions built over centuries. Just like in India, Dangal is living in arenas like these. In China, thousands of years old tradition of Kung Fu has lived for generations and generations. That's where we go now, where our colleague Han Bin will tell us how Kung Fu is using a new stage in a new era.